getting some coffee. Yum. Cheers. We went to Anthropology and Sephora. I'm obsessed with this toning mist. morning friends welcome to a new vlog i just thought i would start out the vlog this morning because i'm about to open up a package that i've been excited to receive um and i wanted to unbox it on the vlog because why not the package is from lanier beauty and it's an all natural skincare brand that actually was started by a girl that i went to high school with which was so cool she reached out and she was like hey i'd love to send you um some skincare and I was obviously very down because I love skincare I love natural skincare and it's like all sustainable and stuff so I'm really excited to check it out this is what it looks like when you open the box these cute little note cards I really love her branding so cute so these are all of the products that she has and she wrote me a little note Sophie thank you so much for accepting this gift can't wait to hear your feedback on these products love Tasha that's really sweet okay opening up love how it's wrapped so this is the coco lotion bar i'm excited to sniff that and use it obviously the baobab face oil i'm so excited to try this out it has jojoba oil baobab oil rosehip sea buckthorn and turmeric oh this is the turmeric oatmeal soap i love that it's just like this big cube it looks so cool and this last one i think is what i was the most excited about yes the Tremella Toning Mist. I'm really excited to try this out. Okay, so the Tremella Toning Mist has aloe vera juice, rose hydrosol, turmeric hydrosol, holy basil hydrosol, Tremella mushroom, and cucumber. And apparently Tremella mushroom is like this amazing ancient Chinese beauty elixir, apparently, which I'm so excited to try. Coco Lotion Bar, let's open this up. Coco Lotion Bar is wrapped up in like wax paper. Oh my gosh, I want to eat this. It smells like a chocolate truffle. It smells so nice. It smells so good. I saw Tasha putting this on her lips, so I'm gonna do that too. She said one of her favorite ways to use it was as a lip balm. You can just go like this. Oh my gosh, this feels amazing on my lips. It's so, so, so like silky and soft. It's very easily melty though. Like the warmth from my fingers has already like started to melt it. So I'm going to keep it in its little package here's all of the beautiful products together the only thing i didn't ask for was the shea butter um the shea body butter because i already have like a lot of good lotions that i love but yeah everything here looks so beautiful and i can't wait to test them all out and let you know what i think it is saturday afternoon and we are heading to get a, like a really late lunch early dinner with my brother and sister-in-law and josh um at hillstone which is one of our favorite restaurants so good and then we're actually gonna go see the james bond movie after which should be really nice it's unfortunately a really warm day here in florida so that's why i've got on my little tiny biker shorts um but i'm bringing a sweater for the movie theater but yeah it should be a lovely little afternoon <music> happy sunday um this is what i'm wearing to church we're kind of running a little bit late so we gotta run out the door but it's gonna be a lovely sunday i'm gonna take you along on everything we get up to today um first things first church and then i think we're gonna get coffee and then go a bunch of other places so i'll vlog as i go because like i said we're a little bit late but i'm just wearing almost the same thing that i wore in my disney vlog um this cute little h&m little mini dress but this is a big oversized Target cardigan that I love. It's so comfy. Coach bag, Reebok sneakers, my little Anna Luisa necklace, Anna Luisa earrings. And I just had to like throw my hair up because I didn't have time. But anyway, let's go to church. Church was amazing and now we are at Paloma getting some coffee and breakfast and then I think we're gonna go to the mall after this because I have to pick up something from Abercrombie that I ordered online and yeah that's the update <laughs> pretty good yeah pretty good believable so 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 good paloma does the best caramel lattes they make their own caramel 
Um, so it's just like extra special and extra yummy. And we also have been to the mall to pick up my Abercrombie stuff. Josh got us some stuff at Lulu. I also got some candles at Anthropology because they were doing 20% off of all of their candles. So obviously I had to take advantage of the sale. And I feel like they don't really do 20% off of candles very often. Um, and there was this one really nice big candle that I've been wanting there for a while. And then I also got a Christmas candle because, you know, thinking ahead. But now we're actually heading to Hillstone for a little late lunch, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> Even though we were here literally yesterday with my brother and sister-in-law, um, we're back again because we actually have a gift card from Christmas from my older brother. He gave us all um, Hillstone gift cards, which was really sweet, and we still haven't used it all up yet. So anyway, we're gonna have a lovely little lunch at Hillstone and then head home for a nice chilled Sunday afternoon at home. Should be lovely. A also, cleaning and refreshment of the house. Cleaning and refreshment. Yeah, we do need to do a little bit of home cleaning. Here we are. Less than 24 hours later. Hillstone. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah it is. We really love this place, but it is next level to be coming two days in a row. But I'm happy about it. Oh, by the way, we went and saw James Bond last night. I haven't updated about that. I I did not really enjoy it very much. I'm not a big James Bond person. I don't know if I've ever seen any of the movies, actually. It's just very action-y. There's very, very little dialogue. I feel like there were 10 words spoken in the entire movie, which I hate because I'm all about, like, getting to know the characters and all it was was like shootings and explosions and fighting and like I just I can't follow that I don't know what the storyline was at all um but anyway it's always still fun to go to the movies eat popcorn have some yummy theater candy and just chill out so it was still nice um but yeah I wouldn't recommend James Bond if you're not an actiony person did you enjoy the movie hey, stop did you enjoy the movie <laughs> did you enjoy the movie yeah it's, it's all right it's good it wasn't like anything crazy I thought it was insane, but it wasn't good, you know? Anyway, let me know if you saw James Bond, what you thought of it. I feel like I've probably spoken about this before, but the artichokes at Hillstone are the best thing in the whole world. Um, so, if you're ever at a Hillstone, you gotta get the artichokes. That's what we're about to do. on Monday I only vlogged random little clips and I didn't actually talk to the vlog so here I am doing a little voiceover. I had my yogurt for breakfast and then I went and got my nails done. I think they're so cute and then I worked at the library for most of the day which is really nice. I've been loving the library. It's so cozy and just like so peaceful and then I went for a run to end the day um, by the lake with the sunset but yeah here is Tuesday. Hello good morning happy Tuesday. I am heading out to Disney Springs actually to meet a friend for coffee. I'm really excited. It's a new friend. I haven't met her in real life yet. We're just like internet friends. So I'm really excited to meet her. Um, it should be a really fun day. I don't know how much I'm going to vlog. Probably won't vlog with her because it's just like weird to like vlog with a, it might be weird or awkward to like vlog with a brand new friend. But if I do any shopping or do anything else fun while I'm over in the Orlando area, I will let you know take you along let me show you my outfit quickly before i go this is what i'm wearing an outfit i've worn many times before but these are my zara denim shorts this really cute top is from princess polly from like maybe two years ago ish my coach bag as always and my little alohas slides as always i feel like this is such a summery look but it's just still really warm here in florida anyway i should get going and i will see you a little bit later hello okay it's much later now I know I didn't vlog, I don't think I vlogged anything while I was out, sorry. Um, but I had the best time with my new friend. It was so nice getting to hang out with her and I was like excited about having a new friend. It's always an exciting time. We went to Disney Springs, we got Gideon's. I got a pistachio toffee cookie with chocolate chips. Unbelievable, it looks so good. Um, I actually tried this in my last Disney vlog that I posted. I think it was the vlog before this. So you guys already know how I feel about this cookie. It is unbelievably delicious. It's like the perfect cookie in my opinion. And then I also got another cookie that I ate like half of it on the way home because I'm starving. 
Um, <laughs> it just looked really good. It doesn't look that good anymore um, because I ate half of it, but this is called the Bride of Frankenstein cookie and it's got M&Ms and like a bunch of white chocolate inside and it's good, but it's nothing like the pistachio toffee cookie. Like it's just basically sweet and yummy, but it's not like, it doesn't have like complex flavors or anything. So it was a little bit boring to be honest. So I'm about to bake some butternut, not butternut squash, spaghetti squash for dinner. I think it only takes like 30, 40 minutes to bake it. It's a little bit late. It's like seven o'clock and I'm just getting dinner started. But anyway, I thought I would show you how I do my spaghetti squash because it's so simple, so easy and yummy and healthy. Um, so yeah, let's make some spaghetti squash and then I will show you what I got while we were um, at Disney Springs. Only, I only bought like a couple little things, but I'll show you what I got. Okay, here's my butternut squash. It's a pretty big one. I'm just gonna cut off the top of it. Let me actually point this down so you can see what's happening. Okay, we're gonna take off the sticker first because yuck. I'm just gonna take my knife and cut off the stem of it. By the way, I recommend having a very sharp knife for this because it's a very tough vegetable. And now I'm just gonna cut it in half. Like I said, it takes a little bit of um, strength and a sharp knife, so definitely be careful with it. <laughs> okay, this is probably the toughest one I've ever had to cut, but we can do this. I believe in me. Oh, yay. We're gonna scrape out all of the stuff from the inside. Once you've got them all scooped out, you wanna put them on a pan with parchment paper, and then we're gonna drizzle with some olive oil. Not too much, like that. And then some salt. Pepper. And I like to do garlic powder as well. And then I'm also going to do some thyme leaves. I've got fresh thyme leaves that are kind of dried out. You could definitely use dried thyme as well or like Italian seasoning or whatever, but just adds a little extra specialness. This is what they look like right before they go in the oven. And now we're just gonna flip them over like this. And we're gonna poke some holes in them and then put them in the oven. Okay, I'm just gonna poke a couple little holes with my fork, not too deep or anything. But just so that the steam can like escape from them. I think I forgot to mention, I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and they're gonna go in for like 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna put them in now. So while the spaghetti squash is in the oven, I thought I would show you what I got today from Disney Springs. We went to Anthropology and Sephora and Free People, but I didn't get anything from Free People. But I did get from Sephora the new, or I don't know if this is new actually, but it's the Way Heat Protecting Spray. I've never tried this before and I really needed a new heat protectant spray. I've actually never had one. I just have like an all-in-one product that has heat protectant qualities in it, but I thought it would be better to have like a proper heat protectant spray just to, you know, protect my hair and keep it healthy. So that's all I got from Sephora. And then from Anthropology, I just got these cute little hair clips. I feel like these are the perfect like medium size for hair clips because usually hair clips are either way too big or way too small for me because I have quite like um, fine thinner hair. So I think these are gonna be really good and they're really, really cute. They came in a pack of three. And then I just got one more thing that Josh is not gonna be very happy about. I got myself the cutest little fall mug how precious is that i know it's like a little bit late in the season to get this but also not because i can kind of use it all through november too not that i needed it but i kind of needed it you know yeah that was everything i got definitely a very tiny haul i think i'm going to take a shower and tidy up the house a little bit because i made a little bit of a mess before i left the house today i was kind of rushing so i'm gonna tidy up get cozy and then have some spaghetti squash dinner i'll um update you when i'm finishing making dinner but yeah it's been a great day so far by the way i don't know if i've talked about this candle on the vlog yet but i'm really obsessed with it it's so good it's from anthropology the scent is called leather and leaves and it is so beautiful it reminds me of like a diptyque or lavabo kind of candle like that really bougie oud smell that's like really woodsy and stuff it smells like a really nice like fancy hotel kind of like 
Hotel One in Miami if you've ever been there. And my friend today made a point because we went to anthropology and I was showing her this candle. And she was like, you can just like clean it out and use it as like a serving bowl or like a serving dish um, once it's done. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm definitely gonna do that because it's such a cute little package that it comes in. I will link it below if you're interested. I'm gonna shower and get cozy and tidy up while I'm waiting on the spaghetti squash to be done. And we'll have some dinner. This is what they look like coming out of the oven. It was about 45 minutes. And I'm gonna flip it over. Wow. That looks amazing. Doesn't that look so good? And then I'm gonna use my fork when they cool down a little bit to like fluff them up and then it's gonna be spaghetti. Okay, just got out of the shower and I wanted to tell you guys about this toning mist that I've been trying out lately. It's so beautiful, not sponsored, but it is a gift from the brand. Such a cool story actually. A girl that I went to high school with founded this brand. We were never like super close, but I always thought she was super cool and like admired her from afar. And anyway, she reached out saying that she wanted to send me some of her skincare products and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. So the brand is called Lanier Beauty. Sorry, I like have cookie in my mouth still. I just had a big bite of that toffee cookie before dinner, I know, not a great idea, but I couldn't help myself. It's all natural, like very, very beautiful ingredients. Um, this is the Tremella Toning Mist, and Tremella is apparently, I just learned all about it today, I was like Googling it. It's a mushroom that is amazing for your skin, and it's a mushroom that has been used for like thousands of years in Chinese medicine and Chinese like beauty rituals. So I thought it was really cool. It's supposed to make you look very youthful. It's anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. It helps with dark spots, it helps with hydration. It's basically like an all around, all in one sort of toning mist. I actually had a really inflamed chin a few days ago because I like exfoliated a little bit too much and usually my chin is like quite sensitive and it'll get really red and irritated. And so I used it, the first night that I used it, I woke up and then my chin was like literally like 99% better. So I've been very impressed with it so far and it just feels amazing on the skin and it smells so good. It smells like really bougie and expensive, but like natural, if that makes sense. So I've been loving this. I'm gonna put it on now. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I put on quite a lot because it just feels really good and I wanna make sure that it's like fully covering my face. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and share this little um, beauty brand because it's quite new. I think she just launched it like this year. So I just wanted to give her a shout out because I've been so impressed with this product. She also sent me um, a face oil. Oh, I feel so dumb right now. I already like unboxed this with you. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry, I am so dumb. I completely forgot that I already like unboxed this with you, told you all about the brand. So this is just an update letting you know that I'm obsessed with this toning mist. So there you go, sorry, I feel dumb. I totally forgot that I already vlogged about this. Anyway, okay, just set you on top of a lamp so it's kind of like a spooky ghost story vibe we have going on, which is kind of fitting for October. I think when I post this, it'll be the day before Halloween, which is exciting. Do you guys have any plans? Or no? Halloween is on Sunday, so the weekend of Halloween. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that I'm also enjoying the Baobab face oil. It's really nice, very hydrating. Um, I can't say that I've seen like major results or anything from it yet, but it does feel really, really good on the skin. It's like not too oily or greasy, it's really light. Um, I'm gonna put it on now. I think I do like seven drops. And I just press it into the skin. Yeah, it's like a really lightweight oil, which I love. And again, smells really nice and like luxurious, but like really earthy. I've only been using it for a couple days, so I can't say that I've seen like major skin transformation or anything, but my skin has been doing really, really well over the last few days. Yeah, that has been my little nighttime skincare lately. Super easy, I just cleanse my face in the shower with my Soy Fresh Face Cleanser that I've been loving forever. I've talked about that cleanser in many a vlog before, but it's really great. And then I just do the mist and the oil, and I'm good to go. I could do a serum before I do the oil after the mist, but I kind of forgot and it's fine. I feel like this is a nice, easy, simple little skincare routine. I love that it's very natural, but it actually works. Like these ingredients are very powerful. So I'm super excited to have discovered this new little brand. I love it. And then I always put on my Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask, which I'm about to run out of. I don't know why I didn't grab another one at Sephora today. I just forgot about it, but yeah, it's almost gone. I wonder how long I've had this. Probably, I think at least six months. I can look back at like old videos and stuff and find out because I'm sure I 
talked about it when I first got it, but magical stuff, you guys. I feel like I've been like switching back and forth between making dinner and doing skincare and stuff. So I'm gonna go finish up making dinner. Okay, now that these have cooled a little bit, I'm going to fluff them up and make them into spaghetti. All you do is very softly and gently take your fork and just pull it away from the skin and it's like spaghetti, it's magical. I'm sure you've all seen a spaghetti squash before but every time it just makes me very happy. <laughs> Look at that, it's like a bowl of spaghetti. bite of it just plain I mean it has like the salt and pepper and the seasoning that I put but I think spaghetti squash is my favorite vegetable I think it is right now anyway for the moment it's just so good it's honestly so good even without sauce it's just delicious by the way the sauce that I'm using as always is Rayo's this is the marinara sauce I really really love their arabiata sauce right now that's like my favorite because it's a little bit spicy and a little kick to it but the marinara is also incredible. You can't beat Rayo's. They have the best tomato sauce in the world as far as like ones that you can buy at a store. <laughs> okay, I put half of it onto our plates and then the rest of it is just going in this little Tupperware and I can have it for lunch tomorrow, dinner tomorrow. It's like a lot. One spaghetti squash makes a lot. Okay, Josh heated up the sauce and this is looking delish. It actually doesn't look that like aesthetic or anything, but <laughs> I know it's gonna be good. These bowls are very cringe, I'm sorry. We've had them for several years and I, I really need to replace them because that ain't the vibe anymore is it i didn't even know what ray dunn was when i bought these so i just thought they were cute but now they're yeah, really cringe i forgot we're gonna sprinkle on some well, kale so crumbs you can do you baby we're sprinkling them with kale chips well he's sprinkling mine he freaking doused his in broken up kale chips because the bag oh. just somehow got all crumbly i'm also adding some yummy tomatoes on mine not for everybody but i love these tomatoes these are the tomatoes that i'm using these are the best i think like i've talked about these on my channel several times but they're so good so flavorful and sweet that is dinner not the most aesthetic or cute but it's gonna be yummy and healthy hey guys it's the next day i just finished editing the vlog up until this point and i realized how long it is so i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here sorry that this vlog was like all over the place and here and there and everywhere and it didn't really have much rhyme or reason i do apologize i just like picked up my camera whenever i thought about it um and i just didn't think about it enough i guess so i do apologize if this vlog was a little bit annoying or like messy to watch but anyway i promise i'm gonna try to do better this week with picking up my camera and showing you a lot more of what i get up to um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it anyway and oh my camera you guys i can't explain to you how frustrating this camera has been like it's a G7X and I think that like everybody's always complaining about how these cameras break really easily and mine's been okay but I've only had it for like a year and now it's starting to like get really weird and the focus is terrible so I think I'm hopefully going to get a new camera soon um but anyway I need to wrap this up before it gets way too long um thank you so much for watching you guys are amazing if you made it this far you are like actually my best friend I love you <laughs> and I will see you in another vlog very very soon bye mm -hmm.